I thought I'd just share this. Uh, I've been printing with uh, the 910 nylon alloy and kind of experimenting with it uh, using uh, weld bond, I think it's just PVA glue, mixed with a little bit of water on my print bed um, to get really, really flat uh, prints. Up until now, things have been lifting off the bed a little bit, and I need, I was doing this project and needed some really, really accurate parts. So this may seem like a backward step for some of you, but for what I was looking for, I actually ended up printing this on a raft that's only about two or three layers tall, um, and I've changed the temperature on it. So again, this isn't this isn't new. I didn't come up with this idea, but uh, basically. I'm printing at normal print temperatures for the raft layer and then knocking the first layer of the part down, I don't know, about 15 degrees Celsius, so 245 for the brim, then down to 230 for the very first layer of the part, and then back up to normal temperature. And what it does is it lets me, if I just very carefully work my way around here, lets me do a very nice uh, removal of that wrap. Now, I know if you can do this with uh, like a, a gap between those layers, but I couldn't get the same results when I was working with nylon, and that was sort of a challenge. And now, when I do this, I'm just very carefully remove and clean that up. Yeah, it's pretty nice. We end up with a really flat part. There's no slump on the bottom. And for something like gears, where if I had if I just had a brim attached to it, I'd be cleaning it up forever. And with nylon, that'd be really tricky. I end up with a really solid, nice looking part that's easy to get ready to go. And I could literally put this on and use this now. Anyways, just thought I'd share something that's working for me uh, if others are having that trouble too.